when you okay so they chastise themselves slightly in public uh, for being saying the word nigga okay okay and then we are foolish enough to believe that that the media and the, these institutions are fair minded but we can't count one of the things that we we don't count is we're we're bad counts i don't know how, why, how we don't understand math uh, but let me share something with you you can't have huge corporations like they have huge factories huge business and then look around there in those businesses and see no blacks in administration no blacks running on the front front line and then say to yourself okay everything's okay how can it be you can go to the movies and look at the amount of movies that they put out and then they're not even real because 90 percent of them don't even have one black person in the movie are we being dumbed down of course and that's and you have to be dumbed down in order to keep keep the system going you make money off of people who are dumb you do not make money off of people who are knowledgeable because it's almost like saying they're they're giving just a small amount of black folks some money and you, and, and it does not a, triple that, down that's it's a, like that's, pennies there's a book called why minority rule and what happens is that what, what what the ruling class does is they pick a small section of any community and they give them resources to control the masses and by that it's like you're in mr master's house yes well let me let me share something with you we see it every day um, there's no reason to pay an athlete a hundred million dollars you pay an athlete hundred million dollars for, 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 for a specific reason. This is a monetary game and it's called counting. If I pay you hundred million dollars, there will be uh, uh, 200 million people who will watch it on TV and pay $40 uh, to watch that hundred million dollar player. Okay. Because suddenly you say, well, he got to be great because he's getting a hundred million dollars. You want to look at him and see what, like, but you want, you're not, you never even say, well, who in the hell is paying him a hundred million dollars? I want to see that person. We don't never see, we don't never see the owners. Well, why would I put myself out in front? Now, remember one thing about life. Let me ask you a question. Where do you make money? Whom do you make money off? It's almost like saying the, the, the poor folks give me more money than the uh, the ones that had the money. Now the ones who can afford, thank you. The ones who can afford to to pay, say they don't have no money. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't make money off of rich people. You make money off of poor people. Rich people don't make money off of rich people. Bill Gates and, and Warren Buffett don't make money off of each other. They make money off of poor people. And that's why the masses will stay poor. And the rich will stay rich. How do we awaken the masses of the people? Because you're looking at with the redistricting, you're looking at with the, the Tea Party, you look at with um, the election getting ready to come up. We got to the point now, we don't care. Well. I don't, I think they will wake up when they're at the worst part of their lives and then have absolutely no future, absolutely no redeeming value of living and then they will ride in the street. And, and just like, just like uh, uh, we, 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 we look at these young people, right? These young people are saying, I don't count. You don't even love me. My mama don't love me. My, da my daddy don't love me. They don't. They uh, certain amount of them got their own little personal problems and, and uh, own drugs. And so when 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 when, when a young kid uh, uh, 
uh, goes out here in the street and commit a crime, and he, he doesn't care. Nobody so, cares about him. Nobody cares about him. Well, it's interesting you said that, because I'm looking at uh, George Curry. Yeah. Just wrote an article on uh, London, to when they had the ride, when the, the white officer killed the black guy. And he compared that ride in London to 1969 ride. Can you see that coming here in America soon? It's, it's here, but it's self-destructive. The ride is on us. We have turned ourselves into uh, the biggest killer of black people in the, in, in the world. Because our young men don't respect each other. I, and, and we got these uh, social pimps, even our comedian calling our women bitches and hoes. And, and they're and they singing songs about bitches and hoes, and they got this, uh, uh, and they can do this to them, and they can screw them this way and they screw them that way. And it's not about love, it's about what I can gain. So you take a, a, a person that has no intellect uh, of thought about self and God and, and, and his, his reason for being here. Uh, and, and, and all he wants is a materialistic thing. Listen, I told some, some kids the other night, look, at, at, when I was a young man, at, at 12 or 1 o'clock at, at night, the television went on. Now nothing goes off. This is and, like they live 24 hours a day. And, and you don't even listen to music as a, as, as a group. We used to go out to a bar and listen to great music together and had a community. Uh, you got things you can stick in your ear called iPods, and you can individually... To walk down the street, don't have to interact with anyone. But it's almost like saying we as black folks, we are but spiritual. We're, we're not the only one. See, the difference is what you're thinking is that that it only pertaining to black people. White people are in the same boat. Because they actually believe with these fools when they say, well, you know, you don't tax the the, the corporations that 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 gives you a job. Well, guess what? There will be no corporation out without you. That's true. There's no industry without people. So why wouldn't the people get a fair share of the profits that they earn? A little equity. <clears throat> and then, then they worry about oh, we get and they got these people convinced. Oh, you don't want to. You don't want to. And you, you see what the Republicans are doing. You don't want to tax us. You, you know. You, and then some fool think that. See, the dream is that everybody gonna get to where they are. Me and you. Okay. That's why we play the lottery. Trying to make this dream a reality, and it's not a reality because you, 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 you're shooting for something that you cannot control. I cannot control money. I don't own it. Let me ask you this. In your 70 years in living, do you see us going backwards or going forward? I see us going forward and backwards at the same time. I know that's an oxymoron, but it's a reality. As we, as some of us move forward, most of us are moving backward. I'm looking at what the, the, the schools, what the jobs, what the, the youth have to look forward to. Well, if we would do what my painting said, reach back and help each other, that your kid is my kid, and that your... your your, your community is my community. Your, your, your struggle is my struggle. But Mr. Young, you look at the churches. What are the churches doing in the community other than basically raping the community? They're saying they're there to save souls, well, listen, and that's it. And, and guess what? And they're losing ground. They're losing money. They're losing their power. Young people ain't going to the church. So they scrambling around losing their, their power until they become relevant. But that's not, the, it's an individual thing. This is not a, a this is not a, a, a organized thing. This is a consciousness. And if you have the conscious in you, you make the change. The change will come. The revolution will not be televised. <laughs> I remember that. Okay, he already, we already see, we, 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 you had to use your intellectual uh, 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 thought process to say, what is he saying? What, what, no, the Read between the lines. Third eye. 
Joe Madison, I always say, use your third eye. I, I'm pro-black because I think pro-black. Not because the government gave me or someone else allowed me to, to be black. I always been free. Free to be able to be an independent thinker. But you got people out here today, they don't even think. They are just being caroused. And guess what? They're suffering for not thinking, aren't they? You are. We are. Yes. The majority of us are suffering from not thinking. And at the same time, the thinkers who, who says, I'm moving forward, I'm going on, they, they, they're, they're leaving that. Look. People say, well, why don't you, you, you know, you moving out, you, you're, not, you're not a part of the, uh, of the community anymore, blah, blah, blah. Well, you never, you, you, you want to shoot and rob me, and then you want to throw trash in the street, and then you say, well, we, want me to come back and, and clean it up. And clean it up, and when you can bend over just like me. You know, I, I have problems with that. Going out to the park, you're giving, you're giving the youth a, a picnic, and they turn around and, and dump all the trash on the ground. I said, what, what, have they really lost our mind? And the parents don't say a word. And they come back and say, well, somebody got to do but it. But then who's in charge of the parents? Who's going to be in charge of parents? You can, nobody can be in charge of a parent. But a parent. That's true. Well, let me wrap this up. We're going to get us a cup of coffee and come back. And I'm going to enjoy the day and look at your artwork. 